Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Yue Eats. I'm Yue and today we're trying one of my favorite New York fast food restaurants. Now a few videos ago we tried my number one favorite New York fast food restaurant, Xi'an Famous Foods. And if you like Chinese food and you like noodles, that's a must try. Today though, we're hitting up another one of my favorite spots, a more ubiquitous spot, Golden Crust. Now Golden Crust originated in the Bronx, but now it has over a hundred locations. Luckily for me, they do have some locations outside of New York and one of their locations is in New Jersey. So we're here to try it and it's authentic Jamaican dishes. Let's go! All right guys, we just picked up our food. We got a whole lot of food to show you guys. Let's head home and eat. Okay guys, we just got a ton of food at Golden Crust. Let me show you what we got. All right guys, we've unboxed all the food and everything looks and smells great. So the first dish we got is something called saltfish and aki. Now aki is a type of fruit eaten in Jamaica and it's fruit, but it kind of has a bit of a starchy texture when it's prepared. And the saltfish is a salted preserved fish. Really, really salty, but really, really good. At least if you like that salted preserved taste and it's mixed together with spices and some other ingredients and it's really, really good. And on the right, we have a lot of starches that go with it. We have some dumplings. Uh, I think this is yucca, and these are green bananas. Yep, you heard that right. These are unripe bananas. And in Jamaica, traditionally out of necessity, they've had to eat unripe green bananas, but rather than eat them like fruit or like dessert, what they do is they boil them and use them like starch. Sometimes they even mash them. They basically use green bananas like potatoes and it works. Now this dish, saltfish and aki, is the national dish of Jamaica. And I just had to show you guys this because this is something that you you don't see every day and you only find this at authentic Jamaican restaurants. And the second dish that we have is jerk chicken. Now a lot of people know jerk chicken and it's pretty well known these days. I can just tell this is going to be good. I see that spice rub. They also added some gravy to it for me so I can't wait to eat that. And it comes with a side salad and some plantains, one of my all-time favorite starches. Then of course we had to get some beef patties. Now if you've never had a Jamaican beef patty before, you are truly missing out. Jamaican beef patties are one of my favorite handheld snacks. They're kind of like turnovers or hot pockets and I think they're actually inspired by English handheld pasties like the Cornish pasties that they eat in England. In England meat pies are a big thing so handheld meat pies are really commonly eaten as a fast food so a lot of people think that the Jamaican beef patty originated from that because Jamaica was once a British colony. Now this is a mild one or a mid one as I will call it because to be honest if you have low spice tolerance the mild ones are actually still pretty good but if you have a higher spice tolerance you really got to go with the spicy ones spicy beef is the only way to go if you have any sort of spice tolerance very 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 tasty now if you've ever been to New York City you'll see that Jamaican beef patties are pretty much ubiquitous here almost every single pizza place will sell Jamaican beef patties even if they're not owned by Jamaican people but guys I'm telling you Golden Crust makes the best beef patties around once you've had a beef patty at Golden Crust you won't be able to have one anywhere else again. Anyways, let's eat, but let's start off with our Jamaican soda. This brand is called Bigga. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> you know, I kind of dig that. I actually think that the apple flavor is really underutilized. I think we have that lemon lime flavor, orange flavor, even cherry flavor. They're all really common in America, but the apple flavor is just not really used much. This is great. This reminds me of one of my favorite apple sodas from growing up. Actually, let me show you real quick. So it tastes kind of similar to this Chinese soda apple sidra. It's very similar. It's like an artificial apple flavor in carbonated form. So guys, if you ever go to Golden Crust or if you ever happen across an international supermarket, uh, yeah, apple flavored bigga, give it a shot. So first let's do the saltfish and aki. Mmm. 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 
Now I'm gonna say, this is the national dish of Jamaica. This probably isn't for everyone. It is rather salty and salty in a bit of an overpowering way. So not everyone is gonna like this, but some people will like this a lot. When I was growing up, I really liked to eat a dish called salted fish fried rice. And this kind of reminds me of that. But if you like things like salt and vinegar chips or fish and chips with a ton of salt and vinegar, if you're one of those people, you'll like this. It's really generous with pieces of salted preserved fish and the Aki guys, sorry, is it Aki or Aki? I might be pronouncing it wrong, but the Aki guys, it just goes really well with it because the Aki, even though it's a fruit, it kind of tastes more starch-like after it's cooked. And actually, fun fact, Aki or Aki, it's actually poisonous, but don't worry, as long as it's harvested properly, you won't have a problem. But that starchy Aki with the salted fish, it just pairs perfectly. It's almost like you're eating like a salted fish pasta or something. Mmm. Mm, I really dig it. Now it does get rather salty, so they give you a lot of starch. Let's just break off a piece of this green banana, why don't we? Hmm. Yeah, actually, it really helps to like counteract that saltiness from the fish, and it helps it from becoming too overwhelming. Next, let's try one of the dumplings. Hmm. Okay. So the dumplings are pretty much just like a big dough ball. And uh, yeah, it's just really calorie heavy, maybe not necessarily filled with nutrition, but calorie heavy, everything that a growing boy needs to feed his appetite. Next, let's do a bite of the jerk chicken. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, gosh, that is just fall off the bone chicken. Just look at that. Mmm. Oh, that, that is excellent. Really good chicken, guys. It's got really, really good spice rub. It's a little bit spicy, and the gravy that they add on top really adds another dimension as well. Really, really tasty. Whenever I see jerk chicken at like a food hall or like a food festival, I always zero in because jerk chicken, there's nothing like it. Mmm. I just love that like smoky, spicy flavor, that myriad of spices. If you look at me, lift the skin a little bit, just look. Just look, it's juicy chicken on the inside, not overcooked, not dry. If the chicken were overcooked, this meat would be all stringy and dry. But just by looking at it, you see that it's still moist. It's not stringy. Otherwise, by me pressing it, it would be coming apart. Excellent juicy chicken on the inside. Spicy spice rub on the outside. Nice and delicious, spicy, crispy fat. Mmm. My only complaint is that the spice rub is not completely even. Like if you turn the chicken, you'll see that the spice rub is not really completely over the whole chicken. It's a little bit disappointing at times. But other than that, I can't complain. Mmm. And guys, this is the gift that keeps on giving. There's rice and plantains and salad. Let's try some of this delicious looking rice. Oops. Let's try some of this delicious looking rice. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's just an off day, but the rice is a little bit disappointing. I mean, it's a little bit hard. I don't know, I wish the rice were a little bit stickier. Maybe they needed to add a little bit more water. It's a little bit hard and crispy and not in a good way. So, an off day for the rice. The plantains though. Hmm, ah. I love plantains. Plantains are like bananas on steroids. They're just so sweet and chewy. I gotta be honest, I've never had a bad plantain before. Mmm, excellent. And lastly, the salad. Mmm, hey, not bad. I'll just be honest, I'm not sure what kind of vegetables they are, but I kind of dig this. Mmm. But we saved the best for last. We got our Jamaican patties. What really put Golden Crust on the map. Let's do the mid one first. Uh, I meant the mild one first. Hmm. Honestly, even the lamer mild ones are still pretty good. They're still filled with ground beef and spices. They might not pack as much heat, so less cayenne pepper, but they're still packed with flavor. This mild one kind of reminds me of the Jamaican beef patties that they tend to sell at pizza shops in New York. And those tend to be not that spicy because, you know, pizza. Not everyone goes to a pizza shop looking for spiciness. You have a much more diverse clientele, so the mild ones are usually what's sold, but they're still pretty good. And even the Golden Crust mild beef patties are still better than most beef patties you'll find anywhere else. Hmm, pretty good. 
But now it's time for the piece de resistance, the golden crust spicy beef patty. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Honestly guys, I really only recommend the mild ones if you really don't have a spice tolerance. But if you have any spice tolerance at all, you gotta go with the spicy one. Because sometimes when it comes to some cuisines, spice really is part of the flavor. So if you dial back some of the spiciness, you're really dialing back on spices and seasoning. So it's not gonna be as flavorful. It might be hard to tell in my video, but the spicy beef patty is noticeably darker, definitely has a more robust spice rub, and it's just excellent. And I gotta show you something else. Another thing that's great about these beef patties at Golden Crust is the crust itself. In fact, I'm actually not sure, but maybe Golden Crust is a reference to these Golden Crusts because this pastry is just so flaky, so buttery. Just look at these layers of flaky goodness. Just listen to that flaky crispiness. Isn't that just music to your ears? Honestly guys, mark of a good beef patty is when it just makes a mess like all over your table. Too often at pizza shops, when they make their average beef patties, the beef patties are too hard, too dense. So they look like beef patties, but they're really not flaky or delicate at all. Golden crust guys, they have it down. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Wow, guys, only one bite left. A patty so small, yet I made a huge mess all over my table. So guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna finish my patty, then clean up this mess. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I just wanted to show you guys one of my favorite fast food restaurants. Besides Xi'an Famous Foods and multiple others, I wanted to show you a really New York-based fast food joint. If you've never been to Golden Crust before, definitely give it a try. If you've been to Golden Crust before, let me know what you think about it in the comments. And especially if you are Jamaican, let me know how Golden Crust compares to authentic Jamaican food. Let me know in the comments because great minds eat alike. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. Until next time, I'll see you later.